Hello lovelies, welcome to our channel Universal Movies. Today, you will be watching an an action sci-fi thriller film called, Skyline. Please subscribe our channel and press notification bell for latest videos. Disclaimer, this is an spoiler content, watch it and stay safe. One night in Los Angeles numerous blue lights suddenly fall from the sky and land in various places of the city. Elaine is sound asleep beside her boyfriend, Jared, but the brightness wakes her up. She immediately runs to the bathroom to throw up. When she peeks outside the room she sees strange lights coming from the window, so Elaine decides to wake Jared. The building starts shaking as Jared gets up from the bed. As Jared looks out the window he hears Denise crying out for Ray outside the room. As soon as Jared comes out Denise tells him that Ray suddenly vanished. When Jared looks out the window he gets hypnotized by the blue light and his veins become more visible due to their darker shade. Fifteen hours before the lights appeared Jared and Elaine were on a plane to Los Angeles to attend Terry's birthday party. Terry is Jared's childhood friend but they parted ways. When Terry went to Hollywood to start his own visual effects company. That morning Terry got home and found his assistant Denise waiting for him to let him know that Ray had been calling about work. Terry however tells her that he won't talk about business on his birthday. When he gets to the bathroom, his girlfriend Candace complains that Denise is always in their condo unit so Terry explains that she's working. As soon as Jared and Elaine landed in L, a, a chauffeur took them to Terry's condo. When they entered the unit Elaine couldn't help but notice the incredible view outside the window. Terry invited the couple to the pool before they could even unpack. While they were taking a dip in the water Tara told them that he would take them to a ride in his yacht. The next day during the party Terry introduced Jared to his colleague Gray who inadvertently exposed Terry's plans to offer Jared a job at their company. Ray thought that Jared had already taken the job so he expressed his excitement that Jared would join them. He then asked Jared and Elaine if they had already found a place to live. Elaine got upset and walked away because she thought Jared had made plans without telling her. Before Jared could go after her, Terry talked to him privately and urged him to move to La to work with him. Jared pointed out that he knows nothing about effects but Terry argued that he has an eye for it although he hadn't agreed to take the job. Jared asked Terry to convince Elaine to move to the city but Terry noted that he had to handle that problem himself. Jared went back to Terry's condo and explained to Elaine that he didn't know about Terry's plans. Elaine then revealed that she was pregnant but she wanted to tell him after the trip because she didn't want to ruin their fun. Elaine was dismayed when Jared couldn't think of anything good to say. They started arguing when Jared noted that he was not ready to be a father but their conversation was interrupted when Terry entered the room. The party got rowdy when Ray used the telescope camera to spy on people making love in the neighboring buildings and showed the feed on the monitor. Soon the building manager Oliver knocked on the door to tell them to keep the noise down. Candace pointed out that half of the building was empty but Oliver argued that the other half wanted to sleep. After the party Denise and Ray went to sleep in the living room. At 4.27 am the blue light started falling from the sky. When the building started to shake Ray woke up and saw the bright lights outside the window so he opened the blinds to investigate. Hypnotized by the lights reopened the window and approached the source Denise. Soon woke up and found Ray walking toward the light. She yelled out his name when she saw him disappear without a trace. When Jared comes out of his room to investigate he also gets hypnotized but Terry arrives to stop him from approaching the light. The blue light soon ascends back to the sky and Jared slowly regains consciousness. As Jared tries to explain what happened to him they hear explosions outside. Terry arms himself with a gun and decides to go to the roof with Jared to investigate. In the hallway they run into Terry's elderly neighbor Walt and his dog. Terry advises Walt to go back to his apartment and keep quiet in Terry's condo. Denise turns on the TV to check the news but all the channels are down. Terry and Jared soon go to the roof and discover that everything appears to be calm. Suddenly the wind shuts the door behind them trapping them on the roof. Moments later dark clouds cover the sky and the blue lights return to the earth. As Jared starts taking pictures enormous spaceships emerge from the clouds and hover above the blue light. 
They soon notice that people are getting pulled into the spaceships. Smaller vessels soon emerge from the ships and approach them. So Terry and Jared run to the exit since the door is locked. Terry shoots the door handle several times but they still can't open it. Elaine arrives and opens the door but she gets hypnotized by the lights from an alien drone. She approaches the drone but Jared pulls her back into the building and carries her to Terry's condo. Elaine gets feverish for a moment but she eventually returns to normal. Later the group looks at Jared's pictures and sees all the people getting pulled into the spaceships, Jared and Elaine explain that the light grabs hold of them once they look at it. Elaine notes that it's hard to resist because the lights are so beautiful and brilliant. Jared goes to the bathroom to check his abdomen because he's not feeling well. He sees veins changing color but he hides them from Elaine. When she enters the room Terry knocks on Walt's apartment to borrow his car, but no one answers. When he finds out that the door is open he enters to take the keys from the kitchen. Before he can head out Walt emerges from hiding. So Terry urges him to leave the building with him. Suddenly an alien drone flies outside the window so they hide behind the kitchen counter. As the drone's tentacles probe the apartment, Walt holds down his dog's muzzle to keep it from barking. The dog suddenly escapes from Walt's arms and runs to the drone, so he runs after it. After the drone catches them both Terry runs out of the apartment while firing his gun at the alien. Back in Terry's condo Candace finds pictures of Terry kissing Denise. She's angry but she doesn't confront Denise even though she's right in front of her Terry. Soon returns and tells the group that a drone came into the building and abducted Walt. He stresses that they have to leave but Elaine points out that the alien ships are outside grabbing people. Jared notes that there are no ships above the water so Candace deduces that they can drive to the marina and get to a boat. Suddenly the automated blinds open because Terry said it to go up at that specific time. The group immediately hides when they hear a drone approaching. When the drone leaves Terry asks Elaine if she still wants to stay. Elaine contends that they can hide in the apartment and stay quiet. But Terry notes that the aliens will eventually find them. Although Elaine is not convinced she relents when Jared agrees with Terry. The group soon heads to the garage to get their vehicles. Candace, Jared and Elaine take Walt's car while Denise rides with Terry in his Ferrari. On their way out, Jared sees a couple loading their car so he asks if they need help. The wife Jen hints that they might need their help but the husband Carl tells them to move on. As soon as Terry and Denise get out of the building a gigantic alien stomps in their car. Terry manages to get out but Denise remains in the vehicle. As the tanker alien continues smashing it Jared gets out of the car to help Terry get back into the building. He manages to reach him but the creature shoots tentacles out of its arms to devour Terry. Soon after Jared gets back into the car Candace reverses the vehicle back into the garage and uses the remote to open an inner gate. While they wait for the gate to open a drone approaches. So Candace reverses the car again to get away. The drone comes across Colin so it uses its light to hypnotize him and snatch his body. Jen witnesses the horrific incident and run towards Jared and his friends for help. As Candace attempts to open the door to the stairwell the drone hypnotizes Jared. However Oliver arrives in a car and rams the drone before it can take him. Jen notices Colin coming out of the drone so she asks Oliver to help her pull him out. They manage to take Holland out, but the drone grabs him by the head and pulls out his brain. As the group runs through the stairwell the drone inserts the brain into its head. The stairs lead the group to the pool area where they encounter the tanker alien that killed Terry. As they look for a way into the building the alien snatches Jin with his tentacles. Another tanker alien attacks the group but they manage to evade it and reach the door. Oliver fails to unlock it as the alien approaches so he smashes the glass after getting into the building. The group runs back to Terry's condo. Jared expresses regret that he didn't hold on to Terry. Oliver notices that he's giving in to fear and despair so he encourages him to stay strong. When Candace lights up a cigarette Elaine attempts to leave the room but Oliver tells her that they should stick together. Elaine then reveals that she's pregnant so Candace puts the cigarette out. Oliver tells Jared that they both have to keep watch that night so one of them can prevent the other from getting pulled by the light. 
while the women get some sleep Oliver looks through the telescope to see what's happening outside. Everything is quiet for a while but they suddenly hear gunshots and find out that some people are outside trying to fight back. When Elaine wakes up in the morning she finds Jared looking at the marks on his skin so he surmises that his condition might be getting worse. Jared discloses that he felt powerful the first time he saw the light and he still feels the energy in his body. The group stays hidden in the apartment for the rest of the day. When Jared goes to the bathroom he notices that the marks on his chest appear to be getting larger. Later Oliver notices Jared pacing around the apartment so he asks if he has any plans. Jared suggests going to the marina again but they all remind him that their first attempt ended in a tragedy. Suddenly the group hears flying jets outside so Oliver looks to the telescope and learns that the Air Force has arrived. The others watch intently on the monitor as the planes confront the alien drones coming out of the ships. The drones crash into the planes one by one but a B-2 stealth bomber manages to evade them. The stealth plane soon gets hit but it shoots a nuclear missile at a ship before going down. The group feels the shock of the nuclear explosion in the building. When they look out the window they see the alien spaceship crashing to the ground. They start to celebrate, but Yard soon notices that more drones are emerging from the fallen ship. After a while the ship starts to repair itself. Jared starts backing food and supplies while the others look for something to cover the windows. Elaine wants to stay in the apartment but Jared argues that the building is a target for the aliens. They will also be affected by the radiation from the nuclear blast. When a helicopter arrives Jared tries to go out to ask for help but Oliver notes that the aircraft is there to fight the aliens not to rescue them. Not long the helicopter flies off leaving a few soldiers on top of the building. Jared urges Elaine to come with him to the roof but Oliver stops him. He argues that Jared is in no condition to make decisions because he's affected by the light. Oliver starts hitting Jared in the face triggering the changes in his body. When Oliver attempts to hit him again Jared blocks the punch and shoves him against the wall. While grabbing onto Oliver's neck Jared stresses that he won't leave without his family. Elaine becomes afraid of Jared for losing his temper but he assures her that he hasn't changed. He touches her face gently to convince her that his mind is still intact. Soon Jared and Elaine grab an axe by the stairwell and head to the rooftop. Upon seeing the soldiers Jared calls their attention to ask for help. While Candace is looking through the telescope, she gets hypnotized because there's an alien drone outside the window. Oliver wants to ward her as she opens the door but the drone grabs Candace before he can save her. Back on the roof a helicopter comes back to retrieve Jared and Lane. But an alien pulls down the aircraft as the soldiers fire their guns and grenade launchers at the creature. The blades detach from the helicopter and almost hit the couple. Before the aircraft crashes to the ground Elaine and Jared try to get back inside the building but they come across a drone by the stairs. They attempt to flee but the drone grabs Elaine so Jared breaks his tentacles with an axe. In just a few seconds the drone breaks into the roof and repairs the broken tentacle. In Terry's condo Oliver hears the tanker alien scaling the building so he turns on the gas stove and waits for it to arrive. Meanwhile Jared and Elaine prepare to go down through the scaffolding but the alien drone catches up to them. While Jared attempts to hit the drone with an axe it thrusts its tentacles into Jared's leg. As soon as Oliver sees the alien in the window he tries to light a cigarette but the lighter malfunctions. Upstairs the drone grabs Jared by the head and prepares to take his brain but Elaine hacks the alien with an axe and pierces the brain. Inside at the condo, Oliver tries to grab the lighter to light it again but the tanker alien catches him. As the creature pulls in by the leg Oliver grabs a knife on the floor and chops off the tentacle. Soldiers soon fire their weapons at the alien allowing Oliver to get the lighter. The creature impales him but he lights a spark and ignites the gas in the room before succumbing to his wound. Despite losing its brain the alien drone continues to attack Elaine while Jared is passed out on the ground. When Jared regains consciousness he immediately attacks the drone with a hollow block. After dropping the hollow block he proceeds to beat the drone with his fists and grab the remaining brain matter inside its head. The explosion caused by Oliver has failed to kill the tanker aliens scaling the building. 
When it reaches the rooftop Jared and Elaine run to the helipad to find a way to escape a plane starts firing missiles at the alien but it eventually gets hit and plunges toward the helipad. The aircraft crashes into the tanker alien after almost hitting Elaine and Jared. As an enormous ship approaches Jared tells Elaine to leave him because he can't walk with his injury but Elaine won't go anywhere without him. Elaine and Jared kiss and embrace as the ship pulls them in realizing that is their last moment together. The next day alien ships hover above cities worldwide with no one left to fight against them. Inside the ship above Le Elaine wakes up in a chamber filled with human bodies as the drones harvest their brains. Elaine soon finds Jared among the pile of bodies but a drone grabs him. She can only watch in despair as the machine pulls out his brain and drops his body into a pit. Drone soon snatches Elaine but the machine doesn't pull out her brain, after detecting that she's pregnant. In another part of the ship Jared's brain is installed into a monstrous creature. Elaine ends up in a chamber where the drones harvest the babies of other pregnant women. When the creature hears Elaine screaming it runs toward the chamber and attacks the drone. The creature then approaches Elaine and touches her womb when the alien gently caresses her face. Elaine realizes that he's Jared. When the other aliens arrive Jared gets into position and prepares to defend Elaine and her baby. Please subscribe our channel, turn on notifications and stay tuned for latest videos. Thank you for watching.